welcome to another episode of Health Wrap, where we bring you the latest and most impactful stories from the world of health and wellness. Let's dive into week's top headlines. A recent study published in The Lancet that showed 6.7 million children in India between the ages of 6 to 23 months did not get any food within a 24-hour cycle has been countered. According to the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister, the study claims that about 81% of the children were reported to have some complementary food apart from breast milk in the past 24 hours prior to the survey. This does not mean that the zero food infants were without any food. Council says that it is likely that these infants also occasionally consumed complementary food but had not consumed it in the previous 24-hour cycle. Pointing out the Lancet study, they say this is deliberately misleading. The Karnataka government prohibited the use of artificial colours in culinary foods like Gobi Manchurian and cotton candy. Citing the discovery of harmful substances in the artificial colours were used in food. Any vendor found to be using such chemicals could face imprisonment of up to 7 years and attract fines of up to 10 lakh. A mystery virus has been gaining traction on TikTok, with many social media users saying that they are experiencing symptoms including congestion, light, headedness and shortness of breath. Experts say the mystery virus shares many symptoms with other common respiratory illnesses and is unlikely to be anything to worry about. Symptoms can be treated with over-the-counter pain relief, rest and hydration. The FDA has approved a new use for heart health that will fuel even more demand for the drug. Vigobi, the blockbuster weight loss drug, is now approved for a new use, reducing the risk of heart attacks, strokes and cardiovascular-related deaths in adults who have heart diseases and are overweight or who have obesity. High levels of cancer-causing chemical benzene were detected in some acne treatments from brands including Estee Lauder's Clinique, Target's Up and Ups, and Reckitt Benkinser's own Clearacel, said independent US laboratory Valisil. While Estee Lauder claimed Clinique uses benzoyl peroxide in one product and is safe for use. According to a study published in the Lancet Journal, an oversimplified narrative that portrays menopause as a health issue that can be resolved by replenishing hormones is unfounded and diverts focus from the necessity of significant societal changes in how women are perceived and treated internationally. Four studies in the Lancet 2024 series demonstrate how some individuals such as those who go through an early menopause or are menopausal due to cancer therapy frequently do not receive the best care possible. The authors argue that a change in the narrative to view menopause as a part of healthy aging would reduce stigma and over-medicalization, empowering women to navigate this life stage acknowledged and supported by clinicians, researchers, workplaces and wider society. And that wraps up our health news for this week. Remember that your health is your wealth. Stay informed, stay active and stay healthy.